Well, good morning, good morning. It's Ray Chair, a multi-award winning award writer with the awards people <gasps> sitting here with one of my besties. I've been trying <laughs> to get her into the badass bistro, courtesy of the fabulous Rick Pancelli from Patterson's Commercial Law, uh, for months, ever since she set up her fabulous business. Now, you tell me if you know another, another business relationship specialist, because I think I've got the only one in the UK here. I'm having that. Morning, that, Good Jules. morning. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. I haven't you? seen her in ages. Since last night. Last night. We might have had a quick supper <laughs> that ended up with us walking out of the pub at half past ten. I mm. say walking because we were very responsible. Absolutely. As always. Yes. As always. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> Introduce yourself to me, mother. Okay, Tell us hi. Who you are. <laughs> I'm Judy Procher, <laughs> and I'm a business representation specialist. So, what does that mean? What do y'all do? Basically, what it does, I work with clients and brands, adding value and growth, hopefully, helping them retain good relationships, helping them develop new relationships, and then obviously trying to grow the brand and make it something very special. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, so it's it's business development with you know a bit of a twist with a twist and a bit of extra va va voom. It's it's something that's a bit more personal. It's about actually getting to know the people who I'm working with, understanding what they want from their business, from their relationships, helping to gain retention of their fabulous relationships they've already got. Mm. Looking forward to hopefully going out, winning them new business, and making that relationship great and special. Wow. Ooh, it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. Now, I have seen you in action uh, networking around a room. I've seen you at oodles of different awards um, with clients various of yours. Um, give us a, 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 your take on, you know, wh why, why are you there supporting your clients towards events? Why are your clients entering awards? Well, firstly, I'm there to support my clients because my Clients are king, yeah. and obviously, you know, uh, I only I only really want to work with people who I really, really like and really respect. So that really helps. And obviously, I'm absolutely thrilled when they've been put forward for an award. So going and attending an award with them is just the best. Um, so basically, just sharing in that success. And knowing that maybe I've added a little bit of value to, you know, to them to gain that success. So oh, love it. Wow. Absolutely love it. Favourite towards ceremony to date? Do you have one? Oh, golly, I do, but... <laughs> I'm not going to say... I do, but I, d I don't know whether I ought to say. But yeah, I do. I do. Do you know what? Philip and Stephen from Cuckoo Connect, those two fabulous fellas, they, could, they couldn't be persuaded Who I love. to say, oh, don't we all? Don't we all? I want to be adopted by them. Just <laughs> um, but they wouldn't say either. Oh, wouldn't they? No, they were terribly... Weren't they diplomatic? Uh, Dave Sinclair, filmmaker extraordinaire. Very they were diplomatic. very diplomatic. I have told the person whom award ceremony that I attended that it was just the best. So that person knows who it is. Is that okay? That's okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mm. I'm going to think I might make the three fast fire questions at the end more tricky, Dave. What do you reckon? <laughs> That's unfair. No, it is unfair. It's totally unfair. <laughs> um, right. So, having been to various different awards with clients, seeing their success, sharing in that success, cheering them on, um, you've decided to dip your toe in yourself in your own yeah as yourself as your own business well how does that feel tell well, us a little bit about that truly yeah. hilarious <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's a little bit surreal because one i never thought it would be about me because it's always always about about the client of course so to have an opportunity to sort of put myself there feels feels so wrong um uh, and, and it's not a thing i'm comfortable with but you know what I try to work incredibly hard. And I think if somebody is good enough to say, listen, I want to do this for you, then obviously I'm going to embrace it and just be very, very grateful and thank you, you know, thankful for that. So why are you, or what are you hoping to get out of entering, and potentially winning, um, um, an award? 
I think obviously it's going to help me establish, it's going to help me get my foot on the path where I want it to go. Hopefully it's going to highlight what I do mm. because obviously it's a bit, mm, well, what exactly do you do? And I think, you know, getting the actual brand, what it is out there and getting the understanding of people would be great, which mm. hopefully will lead to new clients. Mm. So it's raising profile, absolutely enhancing what is already a fabulous reputation that you have already <laughs> in the marketplace. I mean, saying how long has the business been established? It's, it's six, tiny. Six it's six so months. Six. It's it's, it's a, a little baby. baby. It's a little baby, and you know what? I had incredible help and support from you know from clients helping me support me get where I am today. So you are nothing without your clients. Oh, good grief, no. At all. And your friends. Absolutely. Oh, friends. yeah, friends without a doubt. Work husbands, things like that. Mm, that's, that's what I've heard. <laughs> well, I have two, you know, for the odd day that the yeah, dating for the make it strong I can't be about. <laughs> He's busy. Like, what do you mean you're busy and you can't come with me to mm. insert name of do here? So, yes, right. So, um, first one that you're entering, FSB. FSB, yeah. I love the FSB yeah. Awards closing. Ridiculously soon, by the time this airs, in fact, it will be closed. But I do love the FSB Awards. I think because because they are reasonably simple to enter, they're very accessible. You don't need to be a member to join. There's no fee for, for entering. Win regionally, go national. Ooh, love that. So you might well, be going down to land. I doubt that, but, you know. Somebody's got to win. <laughs> but as we say, the awards people... It's not about the winning, it's about being no. a finalist and networking that room. And you if know. there's one person, who do we know? Who do we know that can network a room, Dave? Not <laughs> <laughs> me, you fool. <laughs> yeah. So thank, so thank you for your loyalty. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so yes, I think um, I think you've got something very different there. I think you've got some fabulous, well, I don't think you've got, you've got some fabulous client testimonials that are pouring through. Oh, thank you. So I think, yeah, let's let's see what happens. Hmm. Listen, it's, it's new, it's there. new, and, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Exactly. So I'm really excited, and, you know, I feel, I feel quiet ooh, about it all, but you know what? Why not? Why not? I'm just very, very grateful. If nothing Very else, grateful. it gives you another opportunity to talk to clients, um, people you've worked with in the past, and ask them for their help. People mm. like to help. Mm. It gives you another opportunity to connect in with folks. Mm. What you know, I couldn't. I couldn't have got my brand to where it's got it at this present time without these other people helping me. Yourself. I could sit here and talk for an hour about everything that you've done to support me too. So I'm eternally grateful to you, <laughs> Miss Rachel, without, without a doubt. And, you know, I could sit here and name you, you know, another good five. But, I, I, you know... You're always going to miss out one. Oh, no, exactly. And then I'll be, I'll be off, off the hit list. So I need to be careful. Never, never. You've got too many fans and, and friends oh. to, to be doing with that. Mm. But, um, so cool. So what's, what's next for Jules and the business then? Well, where, what does 2020, what's, what are you looking to achieve in 2020? And well, just to, just to get out there a little bit more, just to kind of cement what it is I do, mm. just get that message over properly better, try and reach out to some people who I haven't reached out to. I've got lots of exciting things coming. I've got a lot of potential clients who I'm talking to. So I am mega excited. Yeah, I mean, Jules was mentioning, we had supper last night, and um, Jules was mentioning some other people that she's talking to potential clients. And like, Jingo, if they all come on board, that's it. Your book's going to be closed. You're going to be... I know. So, luck. I am very excited. Yay. Very excited and very grateful for an opportunity and because that's what it is, you know, we, we think about the people who we have a potential to go out there and help. And it is just so exciting. I, um, I, think, I think 2020 is going to be a hell of a year. I really do. Well, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Let, let's hope it is. <laughs> so, before we release Jules back into the wild, we'll ask the three oh, quick fire questions. But... I managed to persuade, I'm putting this on tape now so that she can't renege on it, but what we thought we'd do throughout 2020 is get Jules back perhaps once every three months or so and just get an awards update because as you guys probably have heard, this is newbie, newbie Jules here. Um, 
possibly needed a little bit of talking into answering that first <laughs> award. Um, but it answers the question I get asked so much or so many times, and you know, other people who run awards have, have said the same, you know, from, from startup businesses, when is too soon to enter? Um, because that's what I said to you, yes, wasn't it? I said, yeah. you know, and then it's the far too question. early. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, but aren't my figures going to look better? Because, uh, you know, somebody's always going to have a better turnover mm. figure than you, unless you're the top company in the world. I can't even think who it is nowadays. But, um, but uh, apart from that position one, there's always going to be somebody with a better turnover than you. But for, particularly for startups, though not exclusively, it's about the story that you tell. It's about the vision that you paint. It's about the research. You can say, I did this. I could see there was a gap in the market. This is my unique, in your case, very unique service offering product. Um, and this is where I want to take it. You take the judges along with you and leave mm. them kind of going, oh, one, I want to meet her. Two, I want to work with her. Three, I want to, I want to see what she does with this business. And actually the turnover figure, and I'll say the example that I've cited to other people before tell me if I'm boring you viewer um, and that is a couple of years ago uh, we had uh, in the Institute of Direct Statue of the Year Awards very prestigious in the East Midlands um, we had a, a pre-startup enter and he got highly commended now if a pre-startup i.e. somebody who has not actually started trading can get a highly commended I think that opens up the whole playing field to people so if you're a startup and you've got a few months under your belt don't write it off mm. now will jules win who knows will she become a finalist who knows are we going to enjoy the journey oh yeah when she stops yeah panicking and she's <laughs> on a wheat bit she'll be fine <laughs> we will definitely enjoy the journey we will definitely. and you're going to come back and sit in the badass bee stroke or on the sofa of success when we reunite ourselves with our sofa of success and update us on gladly what's happened and have a giggle at. about it too gosh yeah well, if it, ain't, it ain't fun it ain't getting done as far as I'm concerned <laughs> life is too short it sure is it sure is right. and, and the clock's ticking I mean, from life. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was being literal there. Right, so, with your vast experience of attending awards with oh, your gosh. clients, here are the three quick fire questions. We're going to play Let's Pretend. You're sitting at a table with all your chums, and you're up for an award, you know you're up for an award, you know you're a finalist. And Dave, for some reason, Dave's announcing the awards, probably because he's a superstar. Um, sorry, Pam Mark. Um, <laughs> who's locked in her room. She's not coming out until we get these entries in this week. She's staying there. Um, <laughs> Dave's on the stage and he said, and the winner is Julie Proctor. Do you high five or bear hug the people around your table, the friends? Oh, that's that's a question. Do you high five or bear hug? Neither, because I'd probably be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. She should have fainted, she should have passed out. I would, I would, have, I would have gone, I fell, off, I fell off my chair. So so you've recovered, we've revived you. Oh, okay, you. so I'm not, I'm not getting away with that. Smelling salts. Oh, no, you can. Smelling salts and a glass of champagne in the old fizzog. Do you go up on the stage on your own, or do you take a chum with you? Oh, definitely a chum. Yeah. Definitely a chum. Bit of or two. Oh, oh gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to like, get me by my arms, because by that time, I probably consumed a bottle of champagne just to get me there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah this, we've got to be there. <laughs> We've got to be at the FSB one today. There's no two ways. I can't miss this. Mind you, it's at lunchtime. So it's going to be and, good. And? <laughs> How do I know what I... Well, I think I know what the answer to this question is going to be. I'm at the bar and I right. go, Jules, hey, congratulations. You've just won Superstar Fantastic Person of the Year Award. Um, champagne mm. or Prosecco? Oh, gosh. This is a very sort of trick question for me at, at the minute because I found out that champagne is far more healthier than Prosecco. That's, what, that's, that. that's what I was told. So because I'm on like a health kick this year, I'm afraid it's going to have to be champagne. First one to me, Panama Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> not that there's a right answer obviously no they're both excellent products and um for quaffing down and the badass bistro is not sponsored by any particular brand brand though champagne is <laughs> and in fact katie weekly you know margot love oh don't we we love, love her. we adore her she um i don't even know who katie is <laughs> i only know margot that's true it's her alter ego um when I asked that question, she said, oh, God, darling, it's got to be Verve Clicquot champagne, obviously. And I was like, oh, my God, she's even given me the brand. Yeah. She's even given me the brand. Yeah. I, don't, I don't mind brand. I don't mind brand. 
chips came. <laughs> right, thank you so much for joining us here pleasure. in the Badass Beast Show. We'll see you in three months' time. I'm going to put a date in your diary while I've got it. Don't forget, if you like our content, you want to keep in touch with what Jules is doing. Well, her detail is going to flash up in a minute anyway, because, you know, frankly, with the list of clients and potential clients she's got, if you want her to represent you, you need to get in fast, friends. But <laughs> if you subscribe to the channel, if you uh, click on the bell icon, you'll get a notification of when our next video gets posted. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and a like. It helps us hugely. But let us know in the comments who else you want to hear from, what topics you want to address. Um, where this stylish lady lives. I don't know, no, we won't give that away. But Leicestershire. But um, <laughs> apart from that, yeah, like our channel, subscribe, give us, give us a comment, give us some feedback, um, and let's get this conversation going, because this is going to be an interesting road. I, I'm going to bet a fiver on it. There you go, Dave. <laughs> You know, how skin well exactly <laughs> queen comes out of my wallet she'll mm. be blinking mate <laughs> <laughs> but until next time we will see you very soon that's take care for now it's rach checking out from the awards people <laughs>